Hi, my name is Clarissa Shields. Hi, this is Denise Estrada. You're watching True School Sports. You're watching True School Sports. Well, it's personal between me and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. Okay. Zoro exposed by Bivol probably presents something the boxing games are missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of Zoro exposed by Bivol's subscribers. Now, I wanted to give my follow up video to uh, a fight that I that I did make a video about in the in the build up, and that was the fight that took place between uh, Rachmanov and Zelfa Barrett for the vacant IBF super featherweight title. This was an interesting fight to me because I was excited for the initial fight, which was supposed to be Rachmanov versus the Welsh wizard, Joe Cordina. But then Joe Cordina got injured. The IBF stripped him. The belt became vacant and Zelfa Barrett stepped in. Now, I had watched Zelfa Barrett. I've watched Zelfa Barrett fight before, most notably against the former Irish Olympian, uh, Eric Donovan. He had been out boxing some spots of that fight, but then found a way to knock him out and, and, and showed his athleticism and some of the things that make him... Uh, a solid professional fighter. But Rachmanov is a different type of fighter than uh, Eric Donovan. So I was intrigued about this fight going in and see to see how Zelfa Barrett would approach it. I didn't really, to be honest with you, I didn't give him a big shot to beat Rachmanov, just being honest with you. But he lost the fight, but he exceeded my expectations. Um, he boxed very well moving around the ring. Uh, he actually wound up dropping Rachmanov early in the fight. And he showed that he could hang on that on that world level, he showed it. Um, ultimately, though, you know, I think with his style, unfortunately, he moves around way too damn much, and he expends way too much energy. So, when you're fighting a, a tough, rugged, strong guy like Rockmanov, and you fight the way Zelfa Barrett fights, your energy is gonna is just gonna zap like that. It's gonna be hard to do that for twelve rounds. And Rockmanov was just relentless. Rockmanov, even when he got dropped, still was punching. Still didn't look out of the fight when Zelfa Barrett had him hurt. So. Um, I think Zelfa's a good fighter. I think Zelfa's stock has went up. But Zelfa has to uh, get to that place in his career when he gets under the lights again. And I'm sure he'll get another opportunity at some point. Because he's a good fighter. He needs to put it together. You know, he's got the tools. He's got to put it together. But as far as Rachmanov, he's made history. He has made history as he is now the first fighter from the country of Tajikistan to become a world champion. Now, for those of you who don't know where Tajikistan is because I didn't know that Tajikistan even existed until like two years ago when I when I interviewed a fighter down here in South Florida from Tajikistan in Mekbourne, Senegal. Um, Tajikistan is in Central Asia, I believe. It's by, it's by Kazakhstan and all the stands, you know, Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan, all the stands, you know, over there. So, hey, shout out to him. He's coming from a, a small country, a country that's not, not really well known in boxing. Um, and to most of the world, they probably don't even know Tajikistan exists. So he's he, he's made history. It's always cool to be the first from your country to do anything, and to be the first from your country to, country to win a world title is a big big deal. So God bless him and his uh, grind in the sport. And um, shout out to Freddie Roach. Freddie Roach has produced another world champion. Now, with that being established. Um, Joe Cordina is still going to fight for that belt because Joe Cordina got injured. He was stripped of the belt. Apparently, Rockmanov's already signed the contract to fight the Welsh Wizard. And now we're going to see when push comes to show, when, when they fight, uh, whenever, they, whenever they fight for the title, we're going to see who the real IBF super featherweight champion is. Because I'm going to tell you this. I'm going to tell you straight like this. I really and truly believe that Rockmanov can't beat Joe Cordina. Rockmanov is good. Rockmanov is strong. Rockmanov is durable. But I just don't think he's going to be able to deal with the, the punching power, the, the quickness, the athleticism, the reflexes, and the counterpunching of a, of a Joe Cordina. Now, a lot of people say, BT, and a, a couple of people have said this um, in the boxing world, that I, you know, how, how, how is Joe Cordina punching this hard all of a sudden? And to, and to that, I say, what do you mean all of a sudden? If you were watching his career as closely as you think you are, you would know that Joe Cordina, when he fought uh, Joshua Hernandez at 135, a higher weight class, two fights before the Ogawa fight, you know, he knocked him cold. He knocked him out badly earlier. He knocked him out earlier in a higher weight class than he did Ogawa. So I, 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 don't, like, I don't like this whole narrative floating around that Joe Cordina was always his pillow-fisted fighter and 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 you know now he just got this power out of nowhere. He's always had power. 
it's just always been a technique thing. He he was a well-schooled amateur, and he's had to work very hard to break a lot of the amateur habits, and he's done that successfully under the watchful eye of Tony Sims. But I think Rockmanoff and him, and him is going to be a fun fight when it happens. Rockmanoff obviously being a southpaw with really good stamina, who's rugged and physical, is, is not going to be an easy out. But I just, after what I saw yesterday too, especially with Zelfa Barrett, I think Joe Cordina is going to um, really take this guy to some deep, dark, uncomfortable places. But listen, if Rachmanov is able to beat him and and um, prove that he is the real IBF super featherweight champion, then I would have no choice but to put respect on his name. But uh, anyway, that's my take on the whole fight with Rachmanov, Zelfa Barrett, and the uh, upcoming fight with Rachmanov and Cordina. Cordina, because apparently they, the contract is already signed. So make of that what you will. Let me know what you guys think as Rachmanov becomes the first fighter from Tajikistan to become a world champion. Um, let, let me know that. Also, let me know like uh, who are you favoring in the Cordina versus Rachmanov matchup now that you've had a chance to see Rachmanov fight again. Leave your comments down below. Make sure you guys take the time to subscribe. And like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me. But I'm just a kid from Daniel. So until next time, take your guys. Thank you for watching another video on True School Sports, the home of boxing. If you made it this far, do me a favor and do yourself a damn favor. Hit that subscribe button and surely you will not be disappointed. You know, True School Sports bringing you the latest and greatest, the untouchable, you know, boxing content interviews news videos breakdowns live fight reaction extravaganza we've got a great community of, of people here boxing fans all over the world from america to the uk to australia and on and on and on so join the empire today hit that subscribe button take care and god